is a Talk of the Town Extra. I'm Errol Rose. According to the latest allergy statistics, an average of two children in each classroom will have food allergies. And of those children, 25% had their first serious reaction happen at school. Dr. John Overholt with the Allergy, Asthma, and Sinus Center is here to tell us how to keep our kids safe while they're at school. Welcome, Dr. Overholt. Thanks, Meryl. So what do parents and kids and teachers need to know about food allergies? Uh, education and avoidance are the most important things that you can do for a kid with food allergies. So you really have to be diligent about knowing what you're eating, where it's coming from, and being in control of the things that you're putting in your body. So what do food allergy symptoms look like? The food allergy symptoms can range from mild oral irritation, sometimes hives and swelling, sometimes shortness of breath, and more serious reactions occur too, low blood pressure and of course, Unfortunately, fatalities have occurred from food allergies. It's a much more serious problem than it used to be, it seems. Absolutely. The incidence of allergies is on the rise, and we're not really sure why that is, um, but certainly there are m more and more kids who have serious food allergies every year. So how do we find out what we're allergic to? Get tested. That is so important with food allergies to really determine the precise allergens that are triggering off those reactions, because otherwise you're sort of playing a guessing game. But getting tested is the only way that you can really find out what is really causing your problems. And what's the test like? Two ways you can do tests. You can do either a skin test, which are a little scratch test on the arm or back, or you can do a blood test. Okay. And then does that determine what you're tested for? And once you're tested, determines what you Precisely. are allergic to? Precisely. That will to? tell you exactly what you're allergic to and what you're not allergic to. And then after that, that allows you to educate yourself about avoidance. All right, it's important to know. For more information, contact the Allergy, Asthma, and Sinus Center at the number you see on the screen or check their website, allergyasc.com.